Hi everyone, uh, really pleased that in the last few days I've just taken delivery of the new remastered vinyl of Kate Bush Aerial. Uh, so I just wanted to spend a few minutes just uh, showing you what you get inside here, what it looks like uh, in case you were thinking of getting it yourself. And there was one very particular question that I had about um, how they will have handled this release that I'm now able to answer if it's of interest to any of you. And that's uh, the whole what did they do about Rolf Harris question. Um, we'll come on to that. Anyway, so first of all, um, Ariel, the 2018 remastered version. So uh, let's take this out of here. You do get on the, this is, this is taken from the seal. You do get a sticker that shows Kate Bush remastered. Come on, focus on there. 180 gram heavyweight vinyl. And the album itself, it's the, it's the same cover as it always was with the, the waveform of the blackbird singing on the front, beautiful cover. If we look at the back, you can see that there, full shot, and I'll just try and get you a close up of uh, what the text looks like there. So you can see you've got the, uh, the track listed, it's over um, two discs is this vinyl, so there's sides A and B uh, for a sea of honey, and sides A and B for the second half, which is a sky of honey. You've then at the bottom got the Fish People logo and your copyright details, and that's about it. Uh, that second half of Sky of Honey, I'm uh, very, very happy that I got to see Kate do that live at Hammersmith uh, about four years ago. Absolutely fantastic night, one of the best gigs I've ever been to in my life. Uh, for her to have done this and to have done the ninth wave from Hounds of Love in one night was just everything I could have wanted. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, let's show you the discs first of all. So, well, just they both pretty much look the same. So I'm going to show you one. They both come in a, a black polyline sleeve. This is the uh, this is the first disc. Uh, yeah, that's the first side. So let's see if we can get you a good close up of that. You've got the Fish People logo there. Track listing. Same on the other side. Fish People. I don't particularly like that, but. Uh, that's what we've got. That's uh, if you want these albums on to buy these albums on vinyl now. That's what you're gonna have to uh, accept. So I'm not going to do a full review of this album. Um, you either know it well enough to not need me to talk about it, or there's plenty of reviews out there if you want to hear them. But what I did want to cover was uh, just a couple of things about the, the track listings. Uh, I'll just show you this book first, actually. Um, so. This is a book inside the album. You've got. Uh, let's try and show you that. So you've got the credits there for who appears on the album. That way, form. Uh, again, just sort of uh, credits at the bottom, design credits, thanks, etc. So in here, this is a very nice booklet, bendy booklet, as you can see, and it's got. Uh, it's got all the lyrics to the album in and photographs accompanying each of the songs. So there's some really nice stuff in here. Um, now, yeah, the, the one thing that I wanted, really wanted to know about this album was how they've handled the Rolf Harris situation with him obviously appearing on uh, um, A Sky of Honey. And I'd heard that, I'd wondered, was, was she just going to re re release the album as it was originally? Was she going to get rid of him? So I've gone through sort of a few phases here where, first of all, I'd heard that he'd uh, been removed from the album. And then I thought, well, presumably she's uh, replaced him with a son, Bertie, who played that part at the live shows. And they have. Now, when I got the album, I was a little concerned, I must say at first, to read this. I'll see if I can get you a close up of this. So it says... If you can see that, taken from the live album before the dawn, um, on the, the the lyrics for the for where Rolf would have normally appeared. So I was thinking, well, does that mean that you, all of a sudden you're going to be listening to a live album and then it's sort of they're going to cut it back into the studio versions? And I wasn't, I didn't like the thought of that. And what I've done, I've just actually had my first listen of this a few minutes ago. And what they've done is, 
it sounds to me, um, if I'm wrong here, they've done a very good job of disguising it, but it sounds to me that what they've done is they've taken the original studio version of the album, and, and of course the Rolf Harris parts would have been on a, a particular track that they can just fade out, and it sounds to me like they've just faded out his vocal, and they've replaced the album version of the songs with the voice of Bertie. So if they're going to do that, I think they've done it in the best way that they could do. So I was a little concerned about, does it suddenly switch to the live album for a few minutes? It doesn't. It sounds to me as though they've just lifted his vocal and put it onto the studio version. So I'm, I'm relieved about that. Would I have preferred it if they'd left, if it had been left alone and it was just the original ver version of the album? Do you know what? I probably would have preferred that. Um, and maybe I will try and hunt down an original aerial at some point because I do love the album and it would be nice to have it as it was originally. Um, but yeah, in, in terms of the way they've done it, I think they've done it in the best way that they can. So if you were thinking of buying this new uh, remaster of Ariel, um, I'd certainly recommend it for it sounds my first listen now it's it's sounds nice and warm uh, it really does sound nice and it's a lovely package as you've seen with the uh, with the gatefold I've actually shown you the inside of the gatefold I'm not sure I have there you go I'll get you a, a wide angle shot of that so that's uh, the washing line um, presumably referencing Mrs Bartolozzi uh, one of the great songs on the uh, first half of the album uh, so if you were wondering what the Aerial Remaster looks like, there you go, you've got a good idea now. Uh, if you've got any comments about this, if you've got this album yourself and you uh, think, uh, agree with me or disagree with me on it, it'd be lo to, lovely to hear from you. And uh, that's the end of this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again in another video soon. Cheers.